Hi guy, Coach Jay here. Look, I thought I needed to make this special because I wanted this to be a personal invitation to the show I have coming up this Sunday, which is called Who's Got Solutions for the Problems in Black America Part 1. Okay. Now, I'm going to be one of a panel of, of six uh, to include uh, GOG from the GOG Experience, uh, Miss Denise Bowles, very outspoken young lady, of course the beautiful butterfly, um, I'm forgetting someone. Yes, can't forget Pastor Calvin, uh, up and coming young man, very positive, motivated pastor. Okay, we're going to try to tackle some of these heavy topics, and I've got part one because we can't do it uh, at one time. Again, there's this coming Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, 24 October, on Blog Talk Ready to Go. We're going to try to find out solutions for number one, making our streets safe again for our children. Okay, I can remember the day when I was, uh, uh, let's go back, 14 years old, let's take that time, that was quite a few years ago, in the 60s, okay, but I can remember a, you could send a young child, 8 o'clock at night, okay, at night, okay, to the corner grocery store, all right, and, and uh, with money in her hand, she'd come back, I don't care if it's a loaf of bread, whatever, her money would be there, she would be not harmed or hurt, and you had the neighbors watching her <laughs> when you weren't. And believe me, okay? So we want the streets that safe again. Don't have to worry about her getting her shot, robbed, or whatever. Uh, raising the level of education that our children are receiving. I'm sure Ms. Denise Bowles is going to have a lot to say about that. That's kind of her specialty, okay, raising uh, our kids. Increasing the graduation rate of our high school and college students. Less than 50% high school dropouts. Or, or, I'm sorry, more than 50% of high school dropouts. That's embarrassing, okay? Decreasing the back, black population in our jails. The numbers are high. One of the reasons is, my opinion, it's a private business. Jails, yes, are a private business. So, <laughs> if it's privatized, do you think the owners want to see the numbers decrease? Not really, okay? Uh, stopping black on black crime. Stopping crime, period, should, is 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 a, is a number one issue. But when you when you've got black young black teenagers shooting young black teenagers, sometimes just for the fun of it, that's sick. Okay, um, helping ex cons become a part of society. Sometimes people do make mistakes and they do end up in jail. We don't have a system that's set up to catch them when they come out to help them uh, develop a career that won't send them back. Okay, let's take that tag off of them. Okay, they're not all animals. Uh, some of them are just ones that make them, that just made a mistake. Okay, a lot of time it's peer pressure, whatever. Let's talk about it and come up with solutions to changing that around. Um, getting rid of the negative image that the only thing that blacks can do is entertain. No, we're not just singers. We're just not football players. These are talents that guys have given us, but we can do more than that. Think about the doctor, you know, that was black that started open heart surgery. Okay, I could go on and on, but time limited. We'll talk about it on Sunday night. Bettering the uh, dress code. Whoa. Okay. Let's pull those pants up. All right. I remember the days when we walk outside, young black man, we'd have creases in our jeans. Now, I'm not saying you got to trap take it that far. Okay. Uh, I've been in business for 40 years. All right. Dress for success is what I was taught a long time ago and still stands home. Make your vote count. Get out of the house. You got an election coming up November 2nd. Get out there and let's do something, all right? Don't, don't let the person you didn't want in office decide what's going to happen in your community. Your vote should do that. Decreasing black poverty rate. Decreasing poverty in America, period, is a problem. It's, <laughs> it's a sad, 50 million people. And of course, over 51% I believe that population is the black population in America that's living in poverty. This is 2010. It's time to make a change. Uh, what else did I say? Yeah, this is the one that really dear to my heart. Get rid of the, of, of this, the it's okay to raise your kids on welfare image. That means let's stop this single mothers having babies and then their babies that are daughters having babies and think it's okay to live the way that mom lived. It's not. It's time for a change. And then having more black businesses in our in, in our communities. 
All right, I'm not saying kick the Chinese people out, but build a store right next to theirs. All right, I don't care if, it, if it's a barbecue fit, if it's a black restaurant with Southern Lu Queen um, cuisine. Excuse me, I don't care. All right, but you know, uh, my hometown, I, and I take my hat off to him. We have a, a gentleman who owns, I think, a black gentleman, three McDonald's. You can own one too. So let's talk about how to treat that. All right, that way we won't be talking about the Indians, the Pakistanis, and the Chinese, and the Koreans coming into our community and making money from us. We can make money from ourselves and set up businesses in their communities. All right, so look, I want everybody to get out past the word. I put a I put a link uh, in the description box that makes it easy for you to click on. Again, this coming Sunday, 24 October, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on out and see if we can. Uh, Find out some solutions for the problems in black America. I welcome your phone calls, and we're going to have an awesome panel there to uh, uh, talk about this thing. Uh, your voice does count, at least on my show. All right, so be sure to call in. God bless.